That mother gave $5,000 to a roofer who she says never finished the job. New at 530, News Six's James Barvero spoke with her about how that lost money hurt her family. The thing, of course, that hit me the hardest was losing the money. We have a family. It's not just me that lives in that house. I live there with my daughter. All this mother wanted was her house to be safe. 39-year-old Jennifer Witten needing her roof repaired after Hurricane Irma. She says Donald Fulton seemed reputable. What we thought was a general contracting license number. But Rockledge police say his license was phony, and the 41-year-old never even got a permit. So with her $5,300 check, Police say Fulton and workers from his business DCCI got started. However, he did shoddy work. First time a rain came, it leaked. I would say within the first 24 hours, I knew that this was not going the right way. Yesterday, Fulton was arrested. He's been in trouble with the law before. County records show he was found guilty in a grand theft case from 2015. I just would hope that he would finally learn his lesson. Witten paid another roofer $10,000 to finish the job. She might never get back the $5,000 she paid Fulton but she's happy her call to police got crime results. He's operating a business without a license. Correct. How can somebody get away with it? Well, eventually uh, they will get caught up. Our suggestion is the homeowner, the victim, do some research. Specifically, police say, call your local authorities to check the credibility of the contractor's license. In this story, the homeowner did not do that. In Rockledge, I'm James Sparvero getting results news six. We've covered several contractor schemes throughout Central Florida. To help you get results, we've posted a list of resources that can help you find a reputable contractor. That's available right now on clickorlando.com slash digital features.